हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आई मस्ट गेट अकेडमी हियर इज एन रिक्रूटमेंट अपडेट फ्रॉम द इसरो इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज गोइंग टू रिक्रूट फॉर द साइंटिस्ट और इंजीनियर पोस्ट लेट सी द डिटेल्स वेन यू विल गो टू द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑफ इसरो यू कैन सी हियर द ऑप्शन इन करियर ऑप्शन यू कैन सी वन एडवर्टीजमेंट विच इज पोस्टेड ऑन टूडे ओनली फोर्थ में विच इज फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ साइंटिस्ट और इंजीनियर एस सी वेन यू विल गो टू दिस वन यू कैन सी हियर वन पी डी एफ विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर यू एंड द पी डी एफ विल बी और द एडवर्टीजमेंट विल बी इन द बाइलिंगल सो यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस पी डी एफ वेन यू विल ओपन दिस वन वी कैन सी द डिटेल्स हियर सो द इसरो इज गोइंग टू रिक्रूट फॉर द साइंटिस्ट और इंजीनियर एस सी इन सिविल इलेक्ट्रिकल रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग एंड आर्किटेक्चर सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सिविल एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल हेयर यू कैन लेट सी द नंबर ऑफ पोस्ट हाउ टू अप्लाई द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हेयर दिस पोस्ट इज विदाउट गेट एग्जाम बट दे विल हैव देयर ओन रिटर्न एग्जाम लेट सी द डिटेल्स हेयर सो we can see the isro is going to recruit for the for the scientist engineer sc group a registered post in the in the centers units and group a non registered post is also available for the autonomous bodies the branches are civil electrical architecture refrigeration and air conditioning let's see the number of post so uh, the code is also mentioned which is important post is be 004 name of the post is is scientist engineer sc civil number of vacancies are 39 the minimum eligibility criteria candidate must have a be btech degree in civil with minimum 65% marks when we talk about the electrical here the be 005 is the paper code and the the post is scientist engineer sc electrical number of vacancies are 14 you can see here the category wise division okay and b candidate must have a be btech degree either in electrical engineering or in electrical and electronics with minimum 65% marks now for the architecture and that also you can see and one more is there be 004 a scientist engineer civil for autonomous the number of vacancies is only one the essential qualification is same as earlier now let's talk about the age limit here the age limit is maximum 28 years as on the 24th may 2023 so for the different different categories government employees or ex servicemen or the persons with disabilities are eligible to go for the relaxation in age also so you can see the the details now here so how to apply the candidate uh, candidate can apply only online through the official website of isro the the starting date of online submission is 4th may which is already started today and the last date of online submission will be 24th may 2023 so these two dates are very very important please note down now and the next thing is application fee yeah definitely here the application fee is there so the application fee is rupees 250 you can apply for the multiple post also but for the multiple post you have to pay multiple fees also so the for each each post you have to pay rupees 250 you can you can uh, submit the application fee online also and offline also in online you can go through the internet banking or debit card or in offline you can go to the nearest sbi branch now this is very very important the last date of fee submission is 26th may 2023 last date of online submission form is the 24th may but for the fees the last date is 26th may but don't wait for the last date you can go through the the early also here the everything is mentioned uh, where, from where you can go through the online mode also it is mentioned now what is the selection process as i told you uh, selection process is they will have their own written test let's see here so the written test will be conducted at the 11 venues mentioned here all the venues are mentioned here you can see here okay and after the written test after the written test they will have the personal interview also on the basis of the marks in the written test isro will call you for the personal interview now what is the the paper pattern we can see the pattern of the question paper for the written test it will be a single objective type paper consisting of two parts part a and part b with a duration of 120 minutes okay you can see here 
maybe they mentioned yeah here it is mentioned for the part a the area of discipline specific part will be it will contain 80 mcq multiple choice questions of one mark each okay and here the negative marking is also there plus one and minus one three marks of pattern now 75 percent of the questions will be based in the course specialization 25 percent of the questions will cover the allied area topics and when we talk about the part b part b is talking about uh, aptitude and ability test it is consist it will consist 15 multiple choice questions with no negative marks okay and their marks will be 20 marks so question will be based on the numerical reasoning logical reasoning diagrammatic reasoning abstract reasoning and deductive reasoning so you can see here this is the paper pattern after the written test candidate will call for the interview so we can see here based on the performance in the written test candidates will be shortlisted for the interview in the ratio of 1 to 5 okay guys so we can see here now the weightage we can see also qualification criteria uh, for the unreserved categories part a and part b 50 percent must must have they, they must have 50 percent marks in each part okay the aggregate will be 60 percent and reserve candidates only if a post is reserved you can see here the 40 percent is required and the aggregate is 50 percent right now after that the more details are mentioned you can see the pay scale pay and allowances so when we talk about the pay and allowances selected candidates will be appointed as a scientist engineer as seen level 10 of pay matrix and will be paid minimum basic pay of 50,100 this is per month and after that the allowances are also there so you can see there are very good allowances also available okay so these very good allowances are also applicable here now uh, for more details you can go through the website www you can go through the website www.isro.gov.in.isro okay guys right so and the one very important thing is the date only which i told you already so you should not miss the dates which are very very important the starting date is a fourth may the last date of application will be 24th may and the last date for payment of fee will be 26th may don't wait for the last date just go through today only for more details you can go through the isro website thank you stay tuned to our youtube channel